Today a great elven army marches on Oldberg, held by Dale, and expects to take it from their old allies. What's up guys, welcome back, I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with some more Rise of Mordor action for you today. And we have an excellent 1v1 large armies Rise of Mordor siege battle. We have Dale defending against the Woodland Realm. Clearly the Woodland Realm has been pissed off by, I don't know, whatever Dale did. Uh, they probably didn't get enough wine or whatever. But it looks like we're going to have a quick sally out here by some Northmen scouts going into the back of some uh, Lasgallan archers. And it looks like we're going to have another one going after the Hall Guardians, possibly, or the General. Perhaps, but uh, clearly not going for the General. They don't fancy their chances. Clearly, the Wooden Realm players not seen this. And in goes the Northmen scouts. This is a very light unit, so I doubt they'll do much damage to these uh, Hall Guardians or to the Wooden Realm generally. But here we go. The General is responding. And he'll cut down many of these Northmen. But yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying all the Rise of Mordor content at the moment. If you have been, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. And leave a comment to show your support. Do always read them and appreciate all the comments. And there you go, one unit of Northman scouts already gone. These guys really move though. They are like very light. They, You're not going to catch them with these uh, very heavy command. So I mean, the general kind of here is running after a lost cause. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, that seems like the first bit of action there is just going to be a little bit of a skirmish. Did they actually kill any of these Hall Guardians? No, I don't think they did. Did they get any of the archers? No, they didn't get a single archer. Wow, I don't think they did. Yeah. That just shows how strong the elves are. I mean, it also kind of shows how weak that unit is, but, um, yeah, I mean, the, the elves are pretty nasty. And there's a load of traps here waiting for them when they, uh, land on the walls. Gonna be hard to negotiate that one. Elves just might not even bother going this way. And there's a very stern defense ready for them. We've got lots of spear militia. We've got shipmen. I like how I always said a stern defense and instantly went. They've got militia. Um, yes, they'll certainly hold the hold the line for a long time. We've got Dalian swords. We've got with uh, Vinland watchmen. I was about to call them. I don't know. Wineland. Uh, I don't know. But I mean, I guess Vinland is sort of like Wineland, like the vines. Is what causes all the wine. And I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. And uh, we have Lake Town Guards here. And we have uh, Shipmen. And we have all sorts of other stuff. I think we just... That's, I think I've gone over most of the units. They've got Yeomen. They've got Rivermen. I'm sure they've got some more elite stuff back here. Actually, maybe not. They've got Vinland Guards. And they've moved the... Oh, they have moved the... Cat Point. I'm pretty sure. It used to be over here. Um, but I guess they've decided this is a kind of a better spot. And I kind of agree. It's kind of like more on the point, uh, like, of this, this city. And, uh, well, I kind of like where they're putting it. But, um, it does look like the elves are about to arrive at the walls now. And they're slow, sluggish siege towers. It seems like a very unelven way to really appear, get to a wall. Look at these guys just throwing javies at uh, the tower. It reminds me of uh, the, the uh, Return of the King. Just like, aim at the trolls, not the tower. Shoot the trolls. And uh, yeah, they've just like, and then they're all thrown down. But I mean, there's no trolls here today, sadly. Um, I'm sure they'll be here one day pushing towers up. But yes, look at that. They've just like wasted all their ammo on those towers. So hopefully he's uh, told the rest of his units to stop doing that. And the elves are in now. And they don't seem to want to fight the uh, the men of Dale. And why would you? They used to be allies. I guess they still are, in a way. Well, the men of Dale and the men of Lake Town, I guess, aren't they? Because there are Lake Town guards here. But yes, the uh, men of Dale, like if you've seen The Hobbit, and like, and then it becomes like the men of Lake Town, you presume it would be the same with Dale. Like, sold, uh, traded with the um, Woodland Realm. Don't know why I had to struggle what to call them. They're just called the Wooden Realm. But yeah, so it looks like they're already in. I mean, these guys, uh, these last Gallon Blades here are going to just destroy the shipmen. They have got no chance of breaking through. Over, well, breaking through, pushing these guys back. They're not needing to do the breaking through. That's the elves' job. I mean, it looks like over here we're going to have a nice little charge going off. You can see here, look at that. 67, 66. These guys have all activated traps over here and died. That's really bad for the elves. They need every man they can get. Because, I mean, they're massively outnumbered as it is. It's now, uh, they have about 1,400 man disadvantage. 
and uh, we'll see what happens here. We'll watch from their point of view as they charge into this front line filled with Lake Town Guard and shipmen. And in they go, and there's another one going in there. Excellent. I mean, I think they should break through still, even with the weakened units. There's three units of these guys. They probably want to spread out not so they don't get flanked here. Because otherwise, Dale really might want to do that. Might want to flank around. Just leave this obviously unit vulnerable to this last Garland Blade. But might be a good way to route a couple of uh, sword units. Might need to do just that. Back on the walls, it looks like, well, nothing's really changed. I mean, you can see here, winning decisively, losing decisively. I think he needs to give the attack order to the shipman. So actually attacking might give his men a better chance. I feel that's a mistake a lot of people make. You actually don't need to give, when your, like the enemy lands on the walls, your men need to still be given an attack order, otherwise the entire unit won't attack. It looks like over here, there's just going to be a stalemate. Elven King and the uh, scouts are looking at each other. I mean, I don't think the Elven King even needs to really look at these. These scouts, if they charge into anything, just aren't going to do any damage. We've just seen in the first bit of action, they don't do any damage. And these elves here are trying to fire, but they're, they were obstructed by something. Uh, I don't know what they're firing at now. I'd start firing at maybe like the pikes back here or some of the uh, Vinland Yard patrollers. These are their most elite archers I've seen all game, I think. They're more elite than their yeomen. Surprised these guys aren't further but like back up the line. Keep them for later. And it looks like some rivermen got sent in. I think that's a mistake because they still have a lot of ammo. A few of them might die for their uh, for their mistake. Yeah, about nine or so died there just f charging in. You can see here losing size with these shipmen just get wrecked by the Las Garland Blades. Like they are a serious, serious uh, issue, these Las Garland Blades. I'm excited to see what happens when the Hey, uh, I was going to call Haven Guard. Hall Guardians are put here. Haven Guardians. would be quite a cool name, I guess, as well. But that's not what they are. And, I mean, Dale looks so beautiful. I, I always go on about how, like, good-looking the elves are and stuff. But Dale, I think, is one of the best-looking, like, men factions. It's got to be. I mean, I think every faction's excellent in how it looks, but I think I think Dale looks awesome. I mean, look at that shield wall there. We'll quickly have a look. Look at the shields and the detail. One of the original factions, Dale, and one of, one of the few complete factions, but they do look gorgeous. And uh, they're already giving up this choke point here, though, are Dale. Already giving that up. They retreated. They've lost some men doing so, pulling back. These late town guard and shipmen pretty beaten up. But they are now... Uh, well, free to retreat, and the, the elves are free to advance, and they actually did set up that fourth unit. And the elves could flank around here if they really wanted to. I mean, they might want to catch out these all these units here. They've got, like, Spear Militia, Lake Town Guard, Vinland Guard. See, Vinland Guard's already in the first line. They really want to, like, move some of these guys over to the left, help out. Looks like these last Garland Blades are starting to have a hard time as well. They're losing decisively. Neither side's going to win this, apparently. I mean, they're both forces of good, and I always say every battle, when forces of good fight each other, it's always a lose-lose, because -lose, Sauron will just take advantage if he was here. Oh, I can just see, like, Elves is getting picked off now by a uh, Yeoman. Never a good sign. It looks like here, um... Looks like the elves might have been forced back. I can't actually see the unit. Oh, unless it's the unit went in here to join the fight. Quite possibly did. They should have flanked around if they, if that was the case. But, I mean, the next line of defense for Dale looks really strong. He's kind of given up this area, which is probably a smart idea. And he's got Vinland Watchmen. He's got Dalian Swords. He's got all sorts ready in the choke point. He's got the same kind of over here with some Spear Militia. Arguably, the weakest spot is this one, even though it's got the most men in this choke point. Because it's got no, uh, it's got no pikes. We've got another unit over here of pikes. This one's uh, with Dalian swords, and these guys, yeah, these are not going to be easy to break through. Going to need a lot of bows, which luckily the elves have plenty of. As you can see here, that I mean, these two units here nearly got destroyed. Oh my gosh, are the arrows! They are devastating. And they've just about won that. Watching a little duel going off there. Oh! Execution. That guy's like, no, what did I do to sign up for this? But, I mean, yeah, now it looks like the archers are just going to focus down, fire on these uh, Vinland Watchmen for a bit. 
a little bit of uh, cool time. And it'll let me, uh, while this uh, sort of like cool time is going on, it'll allow me to say that um, this replay was sent in by a member of the Discord, so if you'd like to join the Discord and get involved in some Rise of Mordor battles, if you'd really like to play some multiplayer, then join the uh, link, well, join the Discord with link is in the description, and uh, you'll be able to, well, get in touch with, obviously, like me and other guys on there if you want to play battles, and just uh, interact with other guys that really enjoy Total War as the Last Garland Blades come up for the second wave already. They're coming in. I mean, they, the pike should do quite a bit of damage. They should hold these guys at bay. But, I mean, they've been softened up quite a bit, these pikes. They're down to 80 men. That's with the help of the archers and these last garland blades. And they're losing decisively. So, I mean, it will mean this choke point will become a little bit easier to break through. And it will threaten this one here. But, I mean, they've got a lot of uh, archers still. A lot of yeomen. With plenty of ammo. So, I mean, Dale, like the... Uh, like the elves will rely on his archers. I mean, Dale does have some of the best archers in the game. Probably bar the elves. They probably have some of the best archers in the game. You can see this pike line's kind of already been pushed back. Any movement on any of the fronts? No, not yet by the elves. They're still waiting. I mean, they're getting the rest of their army in. And they're activating more traps as they're going off. There's lost like another 10 men there. So frustrating, these, tra these traps. You just got to like walk around them and uh, avoid them. It just makes your assault so much harder. But you can see here, like all these like elves have just died for no reason. Such a sad sight. Looks like archers are just uh, focusing down some Lake Town guards. Good unit to be focusing down. Why shoot archers when there's Lake Town guards to shoot? Especially, I mean, when they're... I'd say they're pretty strong. They've got a buff, but I mean... They're still, I wouldn't say that. I mean, they're very weak to obviously the Archfire, as is any shock infantry unit. But um, I still wouldn't say they're one of the best shock infantry units in the game. I think that's arguably what the, wood, the Woodland Realm have one of them. Oh, that poor elf guy there just got chopped up. Got chopped up. The officer here in the front line in the silver armor like, I'll lead you men, follow me. Look for my silver armor. Yeah, that's a good point. Would you say men if you were, like you're saying, like, follow me men? Would you say that if you're an elf or a dwarf? Probably not. It'd be very confusing, especially if you're fighting men. Like, follow me men, and the men were like, no, we're, we're, we're fighting you. We're going to kill you. Oh, the officer there getting a nice little kill for Dale. Don't know if you saw that. He's taking names, this guy. He's got another one. He's got another kill. Absolute mad lad. Someone take this guy down. He's gawping at everyone like a fish. He's going to get another kill, possibly. No, and he's dead. Oh, just like that. How the mighty fall. I mean, we've got a sizable contingent here of the elves uh, saying up. We've got about four units of Last Garland Blades. We've got Hall Guardians. We've got three units of archers. And the archers are okay in combat. That's the thing. They're probably better than Dale's. It's the only thing that Dale lacks, I guess, is that his archer, like his versatility in archers. And these uh, pikes getting focused down, hopefully. Yeah, they're being shot by the units here. That's what I was about to recommend. They should shoot into the back of these guys here. Get some really good kills. And the pikes are now moving. Definitely the right time now to assault with the swords over here. Because there's no pike line here. And these uh, these pikes are going to fall back. And they're going to get shot as they do this. They're going to get shot every time they do that. And it looks like the Woodland Realm is going to get forced back out of this choke point. He's losing decisively here. He is about to lose the, uh, the pikes, his Dale. But I mean... He's going to have taken two more Last Garland Blades off the map. 
We've got another reserve line here, daily and swords. You can see these Vinland are just going to hide in, in amongst the uh, spear militia and shipmen. Not a bad idea. They're just going to shoot the uh, daily and swords instead. Look at them. They're just like... The, look at them. They're just like, right, we've got some elven bastards coming at us. Watch out for their long swords. And then here they come. They're going to come in and chop them down. These uh, Dalian troops are already pretty bloodied up, so I don't think they're going to hold very long against the last Garland Blades. They're doing okay for now. They're down to 100 men, but they're going to have to send up some more what, shipmen back here. I mean, they've not got a good reputation fighting against the elves. The pikes are falling like really far back. They're like going really far back. Going to need to send up some... I mean, looks like Lasgall and Arch is going up next. They're out of ammo. Not a bad idea. They should do okay. I mean, these pikes are nearly gone. And then, I mean, the last guy on Archer should probably be like Spear Militia. And they might uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dalian Swords. I wouldn't be quite sure, actually. And the General's going all the way around here. I wonder if the General is going to go. Because there is a sneaky way you can get around in Albert. I mean, it's not that sneaky. It's a huge, huge ramp. You just go up here. I wonder if he'll go with the General and get inside. If he does, that's not a bad idea. Might want to send a small uh, squad of troops with him. But, I mean... The elves might also need every single man they can at that front wall. But yeah, if you suddenly have a 2v2, you certainly want to send a few troops around this way. I think, yeah, the general might. I don't. He's probably not hidden at all. But he looks like he's going to go in that way. And that means the, uh, well, that Dale will have to send tro some troops over. Keep an eye on it. And there you go, Vinland Watchman Wavering. Again, I wonder where they've come. I think they've come from this choke point here. And then they moved over here and they, they've wavered. And they're breaking. And the Woodland Realm starting to see a lot of success on this flank here. A lot of success. Can Dale withstand this elven wrath, I wonder? It will be interesting to see. And there's more archers being thrown in. They're really trying to push through here. I mean, they should. This line is like... They're making a hole here. There's only like two or three guys in this uh, area here. And the elves are really... This is like the furthest the elves are up. Like the slope. But there is another line of uh, Dalian swords ready. And they're actually falling back. They're going to fall back. It's kind of surprising. I mean, the elves are really concentrating here. I honestly thought... I had an idea when I was watching this uh, for the first time. Punch through here. And then just, like, run, like, the rest of your reinforcements all the way along here. Block this area off. And then with the rest of your army... Then just push on this point. And then almost just split this army in two. Like, this defense in two. Obviously... I think you need a, a sizable amount of troops from over here. But you could take certainly these two units and a, maybe the shock and maybe some of these archers. And you could really have a real, real good go at this. You could punch through this one unit of shipment on its Vinland guards, in fact. But even still, probably should could punch through that. And then you just, after that, you just go for the point. You don't have to take out the rest of the army. It's a bit cheesy, but I thought it might be a really good idea. Especially now that that's where the new point is. But there you go, the elves are broken through here. The shipmen are in. Uh, are gone, sorry. And the uh, Las Garlands are now in. And they're now facing Vinland Guards and some more Dalian Swords. And this is going to be a su substantial defense. But, I mean, there's also the threat of a, a flank here from the shipmen if they're not careful. But, I mean, they're also probably just getting ready for what is inevitably going to be a push here from the Las Garland Blades. And they look like they, they might march up. They look like they're going to go. They're going to try and swoop in. But they're going to might get countered by the Las Garland Blades here. This is honestly going to be very interesting, very close. I mean, it's ever so slightly shifting in favor of the elves. There's only a 200 man advantage now for Dale, who had like at the start. He had about 
1700 man adva advantage and you can see the general's coming around he is sneaking that elven king and I think Dale has spotted it I think he's sending some shipment back there but I think I think the elven king could probably break through that shipment unit My, I wonder if these archers are also those yard patrols are also going in that same direction and we got looks like the hall guardians are going to see their first taste of uh, blood soon they're getting ever so close to the front line. I wouldn't bother wasting ammo on this unit over here. This shipment of like done for. Start firing possibly on these uh, archers or on this blob here that's forming up. Yeah, those shipmen definitely have seen the elven, the elven king, who is uh he's a long way from the bomb. He's actually just gonna wait there. That's a smart idea. Because this just now just means that this shipment unit is having to defend here. It's not able to look at the front line. And it doesn't mean you have to risk the general. I mean it looks like uh or is the shipment unit... Oh, no. The shipment unit is not going for the general. He's having to come round all this way around here just to come support this sh uh, other shipment unit just to protect these archers. I personally would just fall back. I don't think this... Th what's the point in defending here? Dale's having to go into full retreat, I think. He's going to have to defend, like, further back... Get further back soon. These Vinland Guard here are now uh, in combat. There's two last Galen Blades coming up to face them. I think over time... The elves should come out victorious here. I always find the Vinland Guard like so funny. They kind of like like seashells for uh, for armor. If you've never seen them before, that's what they kind of look like. They look, they do. Like, they've got like almost like clams or like oysters. I don't know. I'm not good with my seafood on there. For like for shields, almost they have like half a clam or an oyster, whichever one it is. Might be both. They might be the same thing for all I know. We've got Lake Town Guards coming up as well. They're really going to throw everything in. They are really not uh, wanting to give up this. But I think they're going to need that unit elsewhere. The Elven King is now coming up. Now that he realizes the uh, shipment are not going to go in there. The General is... Uh, well, he's doing his bit as well. It looks like he's going to have to be committed somewhere. The shipment are now uh, breaking here. They're now just going to... They look like they're just going to defend here, which is not a bad idea, but they need to get this uh, pike unit back. But they can also just flank around here, the elves, if they really wanted to. And, and to be honest, the elves are just going to flank around. I mean, I don't know what they're not, why they're not going up with the general. Like, they should really just be sending him up. I don't think uh, Dale's got anything that he can really do to stop it. And there you go, this uh, unit of, of shipments gone. I mean, the whole guy is getting focused down just unnecessarily, which is... Blasphemy for me to see. I love the whole guys. I'd hate to see them just getting shot up like that. And I don't know if you've uh, I don't know if I've shown them off. I think I have. They they've got like a reskin, so they're like they're darker now. Uh, I, th I think I showed it off in like the Elven Civil War uh, video I did, but I mean if you haven't seen that one then here that's what they, they look darker now and they look really cool. And the game focused down for it, jeez. Sixty seven and they're really bloodied up already. They need to move to like here to this longhouse. They can still get shot from there. They really need to just, like, get in combat. They might be able to flank around here. I wonder whether this uh, wooden fence would really stop them. It looks like on the other side, uh, with the other area with this combat, looks like the Vinland Guard are holding their own. They haven't lost, like, any men. They've lost, like, five or six men. And then over here we have the rest of the Hall Guardians just waiting. I personally just start firing on them. Why not? Why not shoot these guys? If they're just going to stand here and just wait, just make them pay for being shot. And here we go. There's the first volleys. And there you go. Just like that, the elves respond with a charge. They're like, right, we're not going to we're not gonna stand here and get shot. We're going to go in. And these whole guardians are going to be a nasty, nasty foe for Dale. And here we go. In they go. And I mean, to be honest, there's a pike line here. I don't know if the uh, Hall Guardians are going to break through that anytime soon. They might need archer support. But I mean, all the archer support seems to be uh, focused really over here. This seems like the main push. And the Elven King needs to get inside. I don't know if the General's now doing... Uh, setting a move to go over there. I think he might be. No, he's not. He's really not. Elven King really need now needs to get a move on. He needs to, like, run up this hill. Ride! Ride for the glory of the Woodland Realm! And he's got to go all the way up. It's like the steep incline. If you defended this, it would be like such a pain to come up and like face. 
I mean, he can get inside now. He can go after archers. He can go, like, take out any choke point he fancies. I'd certainly be going for, like, this one over here. I'll release the hall guardians, then be just going straight for the cap point. Like, that's what the general can do. He just runs all the way down here. And then releases the, uh, releases the hall guardians. And here he is. He's nearly at the top of the slope. And looks like Dale's not realized what's happened. That's huge. I mean, or he can go and take out all these skirmishes. He's got so many options. What he can do. I'm just kind of interested to see what he's going to... He's got to move this general. This general's got to move. He's got to be active as possible now. He's in. The game is up that he's like there. How Dale hasn't realized, I have no idea. But I mean, it looks like the uh, shipmen are going to lose here. And the pikes are going to lose as well. Just seems like this is a constant like vacuum for... Uh, Dale, he's got to constantly send in troops. It's like, it's just sucking up troops like a vacuum. It's like, more, more. I need more to keep this uh, area defended. I mean, and it is quite serious. There's a lot of elves here. And it's one of the few areas where Vinland guards aren't present. So you can see the difference. Like, the Vinland guards are putting into a, holding back all of this stuff. Like, these elves are, I actually say these elves are probably going to lose this fight here. Like, there is, like, looking at the thickness of line, there's a lot less elves than there are men of Dale. But then, the elves always seem to be outnumbered in every scenario. They seem to always do okay, so they should do fine this time. And the general is under attack. He's finally on the move. It's good to see. Where is he going? He needs to take out all these archers, then go into this choke point here. Or go into a choke point. He's going after this one. No, nope. he's going left. Taking out these yeomen. Good, excellent. Thranduil will be pleased. He's, there he is at the front of the line. He's going to get some good kills here. Well, I hope so. There he is. And these archers are dead. These yeomen. These poor yeomen. They're going to get cut down. Where's Thranduil? Is he taking names? And the, the Lake Town Guard are turning around. I mean, that's only just help, that's helping the Vinland Guard. And it looks like the uh, Elven King's just going to move on. He's not He's not going to stick around to see what happens there. Smart idea. Now he should just turn around and charge the Lake Town Guard. Like, that's a good enough distance that you could charge these guys. There you go. He's going to do just that. And that's going to be painful. Oh! And that Lake Town Guard's gone now. Probably. And then he can just charge into all these archers. And freely just kill them. Because there's nothing here to stop them. And they're actually going to retreat to the uh, cavalry. I mean, one more charge should do the job. They've not lost a single man yet, though. They're, apparently, they're very uh, prone to archer fire now. And they're going to go all the way over here. They're going to take out these uh, Vinland Watchmen, I think. I think they're going after infantry. But they're not really interested in archers. Not a bad idea. And you can see here, troops are being pulled back now from the front line to come and deal with this general. I think they might need to send some uh, infantry around to go and support this side. To be honest, I think they've... Uh, Bit off more they can chew there. They might have bitten off more they can chew here. This is all archers in this combat here, I've just realized. All archers without ammo. I mean, they're actually... I mean, there's no Vinland Guard left here. I think they've been sent back, yeah. Oh, it's going to be a good charge here if the general can get in. I mean, he should get through there, and he's going to help take out these Vinland Guards. And then the jet and these uh, infantry need to get a move on. They need to get pushing. Cavalry here, just taking names. Just, they'll chop down these uh, archers, no problem. Well, they should. If they do, if any of you die to an archer, a yeoman, literally a peasant with a bow, I'll be very disappointed. Yeah, these uh, Vinland Guard are now losing, which is good. And uh, they lost a single unit. Oh, one guy died. Where did he die? Who did he die to? I can see his horse is running off, but I want to know what he died to. If it was a yeoman. It's a poor showing. I mean, these late time guard won't break. They're only there are 18 men left. Oh, they're starting to drop now. The Elven King. And it looks like the elves have been off more than they can chew. They're going to break over here where the generals fighting. There's still a sheer like so many archers here. Like I think just get the Elven King back up here, and if you just break through this, that's a real issue. I mean, also the Hall Guardians are nearly through here, but they're... I don't know how they managed this. I think because the Pikes fell back, and I don't know, the unit just, they flanked around or what, but they're going to get a sandwich. 
Kind of a whole Guardian sandwich going on here. And this is sad to see. I don't think the whole Guardian's done as well as they could have done for the money they cost. A real shame. And they do have a long pole arm themselves, but their uh, their pole arm's not quite as long as the uh, the pole arm of the Pikes. And yeah, these Elven King now are starting to come over, and thank God they really need to come over to like save these uh, yo like th these swords here. Kill all these yeomen. Just kill every single one of them. And there we go. We sort of see the charge there. The original guy we were with got trapped on some retreating men, but yeah, they're gonna they're going to die. They should really charge again. I mean, there they go. They're wet. they're breaking. Charge them again, Elven King. Charge into the next yeoman. Then into the riverman. I mean, there's so much left, and you can then get these this general. They're gonna have to send up some more archers. Send up some archers, hold this general in place, and you can just cycle charge him. Nope, they're gonna go after Lake Town Guard again. I don't know why. It's just this unit's just useless. Take out all their archers. Their archers are gonna be what they're gonna need at this final defense. I mean, I feel, I feel like the final defense is going to be somewhere else. I don't think it's going to... I think it's going to be in this, like, sort of weird line that's going on with the general in behind. But, I mean, I think the elves are in a real... Uh, the elves, sorry, are in a real issue here. They've got a real issue. They've got... Uh, Hall Guardians breaking here, so this means this choke point's going to be freed up. They could flank around with Dale. They're going to lose here, I think. That unit's losing decisively. I think they might lose here as well. I mean, they've sent more fresh swords in. Uh, actually, no, they might win that one. But they're going to lose there where the general is unless the uh, Elven King comes back. But he seems to be more interested in running down uh, archers. Over here. Or he could take out these pikes. These pikes would be good to take out. Get them. But no, it looks like he's coming back for more, for more archers. Good God. We've got ourselves into some mess here, boys. They look like they have Urukai swords, I just realized. They probably just all, like, whatever they could find. Oh, God. And then they go into the Yard Patrol that's behind. Kill them. Kill them all. And yeah, I mean, I'm sure Thrandall's getting loads of kills here. But any, any cavalryman that dies to an archer. Well, he doesn't get honored by his ancestors, put it like that. There's two of them still stuck here. Just cut them down, boys. Are they coming back for another charge? They are. This is going to be painful. This is going to be onto the back of the Vinland Guards. Oh, the charge kind of stopped. The I don't know what happened. That's a really poor charge. And I think he's realized... Oh, it's because he's going to go for after the pikes. He stopped to go after the pikes. Oh, that's a bad, bad sign for Dale there. He just lost an entire unit of pikes. And now they're going after swords over here. Jeez. Now he's going after some good targets. Taking out infantry. And there you go. That's an, That pike unit broke. The sword unit's going to break. And now this whole flanks over here is kind of a bit of an issue. I mean, the general here has won his fight. But, I mean, he can't really go around because he then gets threatened with archers. How are these daily sources still holding? If the general over here just goes and runs down these archers, it's, I think it's GG for Dale. Because he's got no other ammo then. I mean, I don't think the elves have much ammo either. But I, I think the Elven King really wants to take out this Vinland Guard unit. I mean, no surprise. It's a really strong unit. No, the standard's dead. He got mauled by an Elven King. I'm pretty sure of it. I don't even think you have a standard as the Vinland Guard. Coming back for the pikes, though. Jeez. I, the pike unit is so small, it didn't even affect the cavalry. They just walked over it like it was just an ant. They are literally ants to these Elven King. Right, go again. Charge to the back of these Vinland Guard, which are now losing. I mean, so are the uh, Last Garden Blades, apparently. Here we go. This will probably rout the Vinland Guard or certainly uh, finish them. Oh, that's nasty. These guys, they're just so goddamn strong. Yeah, these Elven King, look at that. They've broken everything here. They're so strong and they're so goddamn good looking as well. And there you go. I mean, Dale's in a real issue here. 
It's literally come down to 500 men, though, against 400. It's going to be close. I mean, but I, they've got two fresh units of Las Garlands here. I think they're okay. The general is, uh, well, wrapping up its stuff over here. There's a mass chain route going on by Dale. Yeoman here. Getting ready. I mean, they're going to have to a uh, hard last defense. These Vinland guards, are, they're going to have to try and fall back to this cap point. But there's no way they're getting there without the Elm King intercepting them. And, I mean, there's just infantry that could just go and take it out. But it looks like, uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there you go. Units routing. They're just going to they just chain routing for some reason. This is so weird. They're not even near the enemy. I guess they just know that the uh, it's up. The Elven King is going to come down and run them down at some point. I presume the cavalry as well. Like the uh, Northland scouts, they must have been like killed off at some point. Were they killed over here? They were. Didn't even realize like they had just like fought them over here. So, I mean, the Elven King has seen a fair amount of action then before he had to go into like do other stuff. I guess he must have been caught out when he was microing over here, Dale. So, yeah, it looks like... Uh, Looks like that's probably it, almost, for Dale. I mean, unless it's almost like a chain route now by the elves, which I can't see happening. They are, they're probably okay. I don't think the general died, which is the only other reason I can see why a chain route would have happened. Because the general's still here, and he's healthy numbers. Enemy units have rallied and returned to here comes the, the elven king. He's going to come charging up this hill. He runs down a small unit of yeomen. I think that was already re retreating, and they've routed uh, these uh, yeomen. Wow. Just like that. They just have to get near and they break stuff. The general, though, he's popping rallies. He keeps popping rallies to bring these boys back. And they're going to charge quickly into the Vinland Guard. I mean, this is... Yeah, this is the thing. They have no response to this. They have no response to this now. No spears. No pikes. Nothing will stop the uh, cavalry now. No cavalry to counter charge. And there you go. The general's wavering as well now. Oh, the general's dead, though, for the elves. That's huge. I mean, he's now, uh, but he has routed the Vinland Guard. But the general has actually died for the elves. I feel like that was uh, justified. He was doing some reckless stuff with that general. And there you go. A massive route. An apparent victory in the end for the Woodland Realm. Who, I mean, yeah, right at the end lost his general. Thrandall just dropped down and died. Um, but yeah, well done to uh, Heads who sent this in and the, as the uh, Woodland Realm. He did very well. So did Cool Breeze. He held his own and certainly... Uh, Put up a good defense, a stern defense. Maybe he wanted to fall back to that last uh, defense a bit um, earlier than he did. Or, well, he never actually really got there. But uh, maybe falling back would have been a good idea. And he could have uh, really tested the Wooden Realm in one choke point. Um, but, I mean, there you go. So, you got the results. you got uh, the Wooden Realm here. We've got 690 kills with that Elven King. I'm sure most of them were archers. But even still, he got a lot of kills and pikes and swords as well. So, I mean, well done to him. Uh, his uh, best last garland blade, I think, was uh, this one with 159 kills. It's not bad at all. Um, his uh, hall guardians, yeah, only getting 73 kills. Um, yeah, I've definitely seen them do better on other days, so that's a bit of a shame to see them only get that many. Um, his uh, last garland archers, I think the best one got 178, and his uh, lord's last garland getting 132, the best one. And then Dale over here, his uh, general getting 103 kills with the Vinland Guards before he got mowed down by the Elven King. Um, you've got Dalian Swords here getting 119, 269 kills, so well done to them. They did really, really well. They are a solid, solid unit. And then there's uh, Lake Town Guard only getting 66 kills. And there's uh, Vinland Guards, even though I thought they did really well, only getting 55 kills and 51. And then there's uh, Vinland Watchmen only getting 77, but they seem to just be the target of archers the entire game, which is sad to see. And there's uh, Yeoman, I thought they were going to do better, but 76 kills is not, I mean, is not bad for this unit. It's not a great unit. It's a cheap unit. Um, and is it Vinland Yarbatron? only getting 10 kills, which is kind of surprising as they're more expensive than the Yeoman. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, his uh, Riverman also got 86 kills, which is actually more than any other uh, missile unit c combined. Well, not combined, but just overall. Um, but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. If you are enjoying the Rise of Mordor content, please do let me know in the comments. I um, always enjoy... Uh, showing you guys uh, this mod and if you want to see more just let me know in the comments i always appreciate it and until next time legionnaires bye for now